How's it going everyone? Be Humbled here and welcome back to our Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuzlocke. In the last episode we made our way here to Snowpoint City and we're basically about to take on Candace so let's just get right into it. So there was actually a patch they put out recently that like solved the soft locking problem of this gym because you could actually get stuck in this gym. <laughs> like I think like the middle row of snowballs like if you Got rid of the two middle snowballs all the way up the top of the screen where those like eight are living. And then you kind of got stuck in that little divot. You could not get out of the gym. So, oh man. <laughs> well, we can't go that way. So this is going to be a lot of like trial and error for me. Just try, try to figure this out. Like, I remember this took me a while as a kid to like, you know, just figure out the whole, <laughs> whole spiel about this. So I have a lot of feeling that we're going to be doing the same thing here. <laughs> Alright, so we have an Anubis. I'm not too scared of you. One thing I do have to be conscious of is that when Hail is up, Blizzard can now not miss. So I have a feeling like her bomb snow is definitely gonna have like, you know, a blizzard on it and it has snow warning. Heal pulse. No, this isn't a doubles like game. <laughs> so yeah, that's something I definitely gotta keep track of. You have a Quagsire. I have a Quagsire. <laughs> um, are you gonna have an ice state move though? Because I was thinking about going to Torterra, but now I'm like, maybe not. <laughs> Let's just Aura Sphere. Okay, that took it out. Totally fine. So this is going to seem a little crazy, but I'm actually going to put Valor out front because I do have close combat and I want to save a lot of my PP for um, the gym battle. Oops, where am I going? I like the little sound like I make when you skate. <laughs> Right, Savannah, what you got? Pelipper. Do you have like ice beam? You have drizzle. You have like hurricane or something? Ice beam. I knew it. Just don't freeze me. Thank you. <laughs> I knew Staravia or Staraptor could take one ice beam. So I wasn't too nervous, but man, these gym trainers that don't have, you know, the typing of the Pokemon at the gym. You know what? I'm actually gonna get rid of Curse. I haven't really used it at all. I think Leech Seed is still more valuable. Golduck. Um, I'm gonna swap the Swan. I just don't want to take another Ice type move to the face. I did a lot. Okay, that was a crit. Oh, you have more water type Pokemon in the back? What's going on here? Is 
Steelix. No, you just have a whole Steelix back there. Um, I feel like you're gonna have like Ice Fang. So I'm gonna swap to Anubis. And that way I can just use Aura Sphere. Screech. Oh, okay. I'm kind of glad you moved out of the time, or I moved out of the way for that because if he screeched and like he has sturdy and lives on one HP, he could definitely take me out for like a earthquake. But you don't. Oh no, you do have sturdy. Oh, why are you using Iron Tail? Use earthquake. I'm gonna save my PP. Use Bone Rush. <laughs> assortment of Pokemon. But I assume that Psyduck had to have like Ice Beam and then the Steelix had to have like Ice Fang. I'm sure they did that. Alright, uh, let's quickly heal up. Because... Oof. That was a lot more damage than I thought I would take. I thought I was just going to be fighting Snover in here. I have to like bounce off of you. Oh no, maybe I have to like go the other side and go up? I don't know. Like I said, it's gonna take me some time to figure out this gym. <laughs> See, I was expecting Snowbro, I was expecting this. So the only Pokemon that I really remember from Candice's team is Obama Snow. I don't know if she has a Frostless. I really don't remember. I mean, she has to have a couple Ice type Pokemon for sure. out a couple more these snowballs. I have to get to this square right there. I just want to do that. Hmm. Yes, how does one get there? <laughs> There, this way. Right now, I just gotta get the two snowballs from the stairs here. So I need to get to this ledge up here somehow. help me too much. Can I go diagonal? Yeah, I can't. Okay, I just gotta get rid of this one. <laughs> oh, there's two more. Shoot. I think I can shoot up this way. Can. Hmm. Okay, 
pretty sweet. And I just need this one. I need to hit the snowball all the way up, I think. And voila! So I got the one down here, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. I can just go straight to the gym leader now. That wasn't too bad once you kind of like think through it. Sweet. All right, um, let me just double check my Pokemon. I am going to put Pony Brew up front. Yeah, I think so. I don't remember if she leads of Obama Snow or not. I really cannot remember. Um, that and if she does have a frost glass, I do have smart strike on Pony Bear, which does not miss either. So we'll see. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. Oh, please don't. I don't want to lose. <laughs> you have four Pokemon. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Snowbird. Okay, so you set up the snow. That's for sure. So you have a Snowbird and a Bomb of Snow. So I feel like it's Snowbird, Obama Snow, Frostlass, and someone else. No idea who the last one is, though. Snow over down, that's fine. Ah, oh, stupid hail. Sneasel, okay. Well, I'm gonna still. You dig? Dig. Uh, can I be cheeky and swap to Staraptor? Well, what speed are you? Because Ponybrow is one of the fastest Pokemon on my team. You have 114 speed and 112, so neither of you would still outspeed the Sneasel. But I don't want you to take a ground type move. <sighs> Mmm. I think either way I'm like screwed. <laughs> Cause I can't have Anubis take uh, a dig either. Cause if I did this, if I swapped the Staraptor, the Intimidate would not work cause it's underground and Staraptor's still slower so I would still have the same issue going into the next turn about not hitting Sneasel right away. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to keep Ponybro in. And just go for Flamethrower. Oof. Yeah, then I'm just going to have to swap to Anubis, I think. Okay. Medicham. Okay, you don't have Frostlass. Um, alright. What are you gonna try to hit me with? That's the question. I'm gonna go Swan. I think I can take a hit of an outspeed you. We'll see. Rock slide. Okay. You had rock slide. Okay, I can still take a rock slide. Bulk up. Don't you dare bulk up. 
I'm hoping I can kind of wear out the snow. Let's see. I think that's been five turns, or maybe four turns. And the pale still thing. Which is actually okay. Because I get to waste... Because it doesn't set up its own snow warning again. Um, but the question is... I guess Anubis is the best switch in for this. Because I resist grass and ice. Aurora Veil. I think that only works as long as the hail is still up. Oh, someone definitely had a icy stone on them. You never miss, so let's do that. Hopefully this is like a two-shot. Yep. Oh, berry. You have Earthquake. Oh, Anubis. <laughs> Alright, um, well, Anubis is switching out. I'm gonna go in and lower your attack there, buddy. Everyone's getting a little screen time with this battle. <laughs> I think we can still do this without, you know, losing anyone. Hail stopped, and I think the Aurora Veil is now down. Um, I'm a little nervous about keeping Valor in. That's like, I want it. Mm. The hail is not up, so its attacks aren't going to be raised. And if it has Blizzard or something, I think I can avoid, hopefully. Because I don't want to use too many turns switching here. I'm going to try an Aerial Ace. And hopefully that's enough for... You know, survive. Okay, it does hit. Please land... Or please live. No, Valor! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I thought Valor could hopefully, you know... Avoid a blizzard. Oh, let me update the death counter now. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to go to Pony Bro. Bony bows are fastest just in case she tries something sneaky here. Flame power, yep. Should be it. Oh man, we lost our star raptor though. Oh, we lost our intimidator too. That's really upsetting. <laughs> Uh, I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little bit. Well, I don't admire you. <laughs> you took out one of our Pokemon. On a blizzard. When it wasn't hailing. Wow, you're great. You earned my respect. I think your focus and... Will bewowed us totally. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Take your icicle badge back. That icicle badge I just gave you? Because you have it, you can use the hidden move rock climb from your Poketch. Oh, and take these too. <sighs> take your stickers back. I don't want them. <laughs> just take everything back. <laughs> Should have just probably close combated. I don't know if that was still gonna help though. I probably, that Obama's still probably still gonna live. Ugh. Each uh, TM72 contains the move Avalanche. 
the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled. Can you imagine what sort of focus you need to pull it off? <laughs> Mr. Raptor's dead. Oh man. Alright. Yeah, I'll take your amulet coin from you, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I have to remove the ball capsule from you. Do I not have any other flying type Pokemon? I have Wingle. I don't think I want that though. <laughs> Ooh, we don't have a flying type Pokemon really available to us. Interesting. Um, what would be a really good type for the team though right now? I mean, I guess Sumi, right? We could put. We do have Batgirl. That'd take a lot of leveling up though. Mm. I mean, I'd love to put like a Gengar on the team, but I cannot. I would have to find someone to trade with. I mean, I could do a Mothum. Would Bug Flying be a good type for the team? Because what are we kind of like weak against right now? We're definitely weak against like rock and ground types. Ice we're weak against. Hmm. Well, if I put you on the team, there's four po or three Pokemon weak against fire then. If I put you on the team, only two Pokemon are weak against electricity. Yeah, I guess we're gonna put Batgirl on the team and I guess for the rest of the episode, just keep her in the back for now and let her get some juicy experience from the rest of the team as we go through. Uh, where is the Pokemon Center though? <laughs> Definitely need to heal up. Oh, this is so sad though. We lost our Intimidator, which is such a good ability. Ugh. I'm sad. So I'm gonna have to make Mac girl really happy here and also get her happiness up here. I think I have the Souv Bell, so let me quickly attach that to her. Oh, we have so many items here. Uh, let me just sort by type. Um, who do I want to give this to? You know, let's give it to Ponybro. That's fine, and then I should have the Sue Bell somewhere nearby. I have a two fire stones, a leaf stone, and a shiny stone, but no thunderstone yet. <laughs> Where is my Sue Bell? Probably passing it like 10,000 times. Stop it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's just... Then I have to remove you from the bowl capsules. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a shame there really aren't a lot of, like, flying type Pokemon. Alright, well, let's go check out Lake Acuity because we're still pretty early on to the episode, so I'm not going to stop to go, you know, train now. Can I have a Zubat follow me? <laughs> okay, none of my Pokemon. That's so weird. It's like, I understand that, okay, maybe there's some places your Pokemon can't follow you, but like... You should be able to still swap them because they're still highlighted in the menu there. <sighs> Snover. Just run away from you. Just run away. Ah! 
Ah, you're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone headquarters. Oh, don't you know? We met in Turner City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about your poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our headquarters in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi. It was suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not enough. I have to be stronger. He just gives up like that. All right. Is there a Pokemon here I can kind of find? I think there's like grass patches. Maybe. Oh yeah. There's the grass. Ooh, an item. Blizzard. Okay. The move that took down Master Raptor. <laughs> Uh Bieber. Well, we have a Bidoof, so we can skip over it. And do like, I don't know, two more. Three more encounters, maybe. Sneasel. Well, we don't need a Sneasel, I can tell you that. Another Beeberl. Another Sneasel. Do one more encounter and then probably call it quits for now on trying to find something. And another Sneasel, all right. <laughs> I think we'll call it quits for now and I'll have to look up the encounter tables to see what we can really get in these areas. So there really isn't like a lot of variety of Pokemon, unfortunately. Alright, so now we get to go through the whole thing with the Veil Stone, so let's go back there. Riding a Staraptor makes me sad too. <laughs> Ooh, while I'm here actually, I can actually go get my Pokemon massaged. <laughs> it sounds so strange, but it's true. <laughs> so let's go over here and get, you know, just let's get Zubat a little warmed up to us. Let's get Batgirl a little warmed up here. That's, that's a Pachirisu. I mean, a good thing about, um, I guess Golbat evolving into Crobat is that, um, Sky Sticker, okay. Is that at least uh, it's not dependent on the time of day like Lucario was, which was a little annoying. Because uh, there wasn't days that I could actually play during the middle of the day. I'm just gonna have a Zubat follow me. <laughs> Come on, keep up Batgirl. So I think Batgirl's gonna chill out in the back of the party as we go through the Galactic. 
um, headquarters here, so I think we have to start out here and eventually go into the warehouse. other door. I guess that's an exit portal. Maybe you do have to go down? I do not remember. So let's go over here. Oh, wait, I can actually rock climb this. Hold up. Love it. Full incense. I think that's for Munchlax to evolve into Snorlax. Or no, that's the breed of Munchlax if you have Snorlax. Now let's try over here. I think we needed a key for this too, though. Um, I'm missing something here. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about any storage key. Oh. That explains it. Alright, I was like wondering about like what am I missing and that was it. Alright. I forgot that you had to talk to that one specific grunt to get the storage key. Alright. Ooh, dust stone. If I had a, like a mystery vest, that would have been great. The oh, that sucks, buddy. Promotions would be like every three years, so yeah, you're definitely behind a promotion. Alright, what you got? What do the levels look like in here? Ah, oh, you get a go bat. Level 37 for one Pokemon. Okay, not too high. experience Batgirl gets level 13. Okay, that's not bad for one Pokemon battle. Mean look. That's it. <laughs> I think Zubat evolves in the Golbat in the level 20s. So we'll have a little bit of ways to go with it. Uh, let me just double check over here because I didn't go back all the way. I think I need the other key. Yeah, I think I need the Galactic key, I think it's called. Which we should get soon. As we go through the hideout. Got some zinc. So I think after the headquarters here, we can actually head to Spirit Pillar. I think that's where they go next. So we're, we're getting really close to some juicy stuff here, which is exciting. So Psychic. Goodbye, Dust Talks. That girl's in level 15. Poison Fang, yes. Please. Um, we're gonna get rid of Absorb on you because 
You're not a special attacker. <laughs> Bronzor. I think I can easily take you out with a Thunderbolt. Ooh, payback. Okay, that, that did nothing. Sixteen. All right, so Batgirl's already doubled the levels. That's pretty good. So what I'll probably do is take Batgirl through the hideout here, and then before we go to Sp Spear Pillar, um, I'll probably go off screen a little bit and train up Batgirl. That way she's a little, you know, on par with the team here. Just have a glam meow. I was actually thinking about glam meow when I was looking at my box, but I don't. I just feel like having and like you know some other Pokemon that's not normal type would be more beneficial for the team. I, I could have put Sumi back on, but uh, we still don't have a Thunderstone. We would just have a Pikachu that keeps getting slapped in the face. <laughs> So I think the best choice was to go for more of a flying type and not Wingle. Absolutely not Wingle. I'm not having a Pelipper on my team. But I think we're going to wrap up here. We're already pretty far into the episode, so we'll continue this in the next episode and I guess maybe train up uh, <laughs> that girl. So thank you guys for watching and remember to stay kind and be humbled.